Hi, Sean Cabinet here with another Aussie Target Training video. In this video, we're going to run through converting your maps to the native OZF4 format for Aussie Explorer uh, using the Image to OZF tool or conversion utility. So the first thing we need to do is jump onto the Aussie Explorer website and download that. So if we start on the home page, go to optional extras, image to OZF conversion utility, and then you can read all of that and download it here. So download it and install it. It'll install it into the Aussie Explorer directory. So the first question most people have is why use OZF? Uh, the main reason is that it's very fast to load because it's already pre-rendered all your zoom levels and it's a format specifically designed to work with Aussie Explorer. It opens up really quickly. Um, it doesn't use as much memory and the images actually appear better than, uh, than zooming a JPEG or a TIFF image or something like that directly in Aussie Explorer. So uh, I've found that it just it works brilliantly. It's, uh, it's much nicer than using a JPEG image for your maps. So once you've got that downloaded and installed, we'll open it up and this is what it looks like. First thing you need to do is jump into your configuration, set this up. You've got three different methods for reducing the colors on the map and setting all this up. A little info button there will tell you all about it. Basically, neural net is the slowest method, but it gives you the best quality. And uh, depending on the, uh, the value here, the lower the number, the lower the quality, the higher the number, the better the quality, but the slower it will process the image. I find that 90 out of 100 works brilliantly. Above that, it just seems to slow things down. I can't tell any difference. So 90 is good. Back to map conversion. Go to your source map folder. I'm using, uh, I've got a folder here for the Junior World uh, maps in Lithuania. So hit the refresh button. It'll show you the maps that are available. So we've got this version two map in JPEG format. We select that. Now we don't muck around with any resizing or limiting the number of colors. You can certainly play with that if you want. If you had a particularly big map or you, you wanted to sort of try and reduce the number of colors or the amount of clutter on the map, you, know, you can play with all that, but I don't bother in most cases. Once you've selected the map, destination folder as above, so it'll go into the same place and then hit convert map. It'll start loading and checking all the uh, the data for the image file. Once it's got that image loaded, we get a little preview here so that you actually know what it looks like. And then it starts going through and reducing the colors. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, this could be a minute or two, could be five minutes, could be 10 minutes. And, uh, and really it's one of those things you get going, walk away, grab a beer or a cup of tea and, uh, and come back to it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so we're back. This is uh, just about to wrap up. It's going through and rendering out those specific zoom levels and uh, getting the image ready. In a moment, it'll start saving that to the disk. And then down the bottom left here, it'll pop up and say conversion done. So... Uh, any second now. Bingo. Okay, so that map conversion is now done. There's a log file there that you can have a look at and all the rest of it. So let's open it up in Aussie Explorer and see how it looks. So I've got two versions uh, of Aussie Explorer running here. First one here, I'll go load map file. Now the dot map is the original JPEG image. And if I click load there, you can see that it's thinking about it, thinking about it, gets that loaded. Oops, and we'll go out to 100%. By comparison over here, OZF map, basically instant loading by comparison. So straight away, you can see the difference in loading speed. Uh, you can probably also notice uh, a little bit of difference in image quality. The OZF image 
at least to my eyes, is a little bit sharper, but you'll notice it particularly when you zoom. Now with these pre-rendered zoom levels, we've got 90, 80, 70 percent over here with the JPEG, you've got a lot more limitations, so it jumps straight to 75 percent. So at 75 percent compared to 70 percent, you can see how sharp the OZF image is to look at. If we go to a matching zoom level of 50%, uh, it's chalk and cheese. The, the OZF image looks really nice. All the way down to, say, 10%. And, uh, and again, this just becomes pixelated and nasty. And the OZF image looks quite smooth and nice. If you go the other way, jump out to, say, 200%, you're really not going to notice any difference because they're both just making stuff up because that data is not there. Uh, so scaling up in the opposite direction, you're not going to get any improvement one way or the other. So that's it. That's your OZF format. Definitely faster to load. The only thing I would say uh, that you've got to be aware of is don't get rid of your original JPEG or TIFF images. The OZF format is specifically for Aussie Explorer. There is no easy way that I'm aware of for getting the images back out of that format and opening them in Photoshop or doing something else with them. So once you've converted that to OZF, that OZF image is really only good for Aussie Explorer. So if you want to be able to use your maps with other software, make sure you keep the originals. And, uh, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been uh, helpful. Don't forget to uh, send us an email, ask any questions, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.